Right, Father Jim. So after the altar is set up, the cups have been placed um, up here. Uh, the person with incense comes and stands right over here with the boat and the thurible and waits until the blessing of the bread and the blessing of the wine. So now that the wine has been poured, I hand that back to them. And now we've already blessed the bread. Now we ask for the God's blessing upon the wine. When he finishes that, the priest bows. And then the thurifer steps forward and hands me the boat for me to put incense on. And then you lower it. Hand you the boat and you hand this to me. One thing that I want to point out is you don't want to have the chain wrapped around your hand. Never do that. Have it always completely unwrapped and your thumb goes through here so that I can get it from you. So when I take and I incense the gifts and the altar, so I walk around and incense the altar, and then I come back and bow, and then the thurifer steps forward and takes it back to the credence table and takes the lid off again um, on the stone tray back there. And then the servers come forward with the washing of So that is the third time that incense is used. The first time was in the entrance procession, the second time was at the gospel after the second reading, and the third time is um, after, um, at the setting of the altar, after the priest has blessed the bread and the wine, then the incense steps forward. Okay, all right.